What's up everyone, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video we'll be talking about Romancing Saga the stage, the Daloyan Burned Box event. This event is pretty easy to farm, there is no Romancing stage, only 20 farming stages. And, well, we have two waves of enemies, they are weak to three different things, Slash, Pierce and Shadow. If you have him black, and black's going to have fun here because it will hit critical against his enemies. First of all, this event has 1910 HP cap, so the highest one right now. And there are plenty of characters that are featured here. You can click on the details. Oops, actually on the limited time ability. All Pierce attackers, all Shadow attackers, Romancing Saga 3 series and older series. Older is just Minstrel and I token. So plenty of new characters to train. Now let's talk about the event box surprises. You get some drops when you finish a stage and there are some new interesting stuff here. This loin armor for example. And then after that you have things like gold pieces, 200 is pretty nice, equipment medals, 1000 jewels, that is very important. Then we have books for some time and then after that just plotted on tickets. But there are plenty of black iron chunk and materials. It's been a while since we got this so very nice. Now, let's talk about farming this event. This event has two waves, like I said, so many characters that have a stable AoE with high power will be strong. So I can talk about my first strategy. Let's go here. Well, the first one is Magical Shower X formation with two magical attackers and one of them being fast. This formation increases the turn order of your mages, as you can see it here action order medium and also the damage inflicted when hitting a weak target so eagle mob is pretty good to use here she is super strong we could capture and then i have um bertrand but he's frost quake attack instead of abaddon hands why because i want him to attack after eagle mob so he gets bp back when he kills targets you have to decrease the agility of the frontal units so they don't interfere with your farming but with that you should be good Okay, so Igomal is going to hit first. Her damage is pretty high. But she does not kill, then we have Frostquake. That's going to kill. Now Igomal may not have enough BP to use Wicked um, again. But then what happens is that if she doesn't, you can still kill. We just need strong weapons here with at least 70% damage increase. In the case of Bertrand, I'm using a water weapon, of course. Now the next strategy is a combination of Alosis and Matriarch. This is like one of the best combinations on the moment. I'm using Magia Fight because I do have this version of Matriarch with Inheritance of Gleaming Way. She opens with a fast attack, then uses a fast attack later. And Alosis just finished up with his AoE attack, the one called Grand Trample. Well, if you don't have this one, you can use uh, Inheritance from UDX and use Shining Glory twice, but then you have to switch out the formation and go with Amazon Raid X and then place her in the front line and use Shining Glory. This will fix and works even better, to be honest, but it's not a fast attack. So when I use a fast attack with Magia Fight, it always guarantees that the turn order will stay intact and nothing will break. So let's go. Okay, so... Twin Penetrate. Oh my god, we got five people on the combo. What an exaggerated. Sometimes this happens. And I even have a multi-attacker in the middle. Now the second attack is weaker, so I'm still doing this because my Alusis have a very powerful weapon. If he can't, that means that you have to use Shining Glory instead. The next one brings Amazon Raid X, and then I have Human for News on the front line with Spinning Trample. This is stronger than Hydro Cyclone. And Saruin. Well, they together will be enough to kill this easily. Since their attacks are stronger, you don't really need very powerful weapons with this. 
60,000 and then 67,000. These enemies have around 105, 110k, so they break that damage easily. My weapons with them are around 70%. So even 60% weapons should do the trick. The fourth strategy is interesting because we can use Deadly Pierce X with Monica. This version of Monica has Word Ballet Plus and you can amplify this over an S style and it's just good damage. Another character can do the same is Darke. We can just get Sword Ballet on 8, leave Kaleidoscope on 16. Of course, it's the amplified version, so you have to use some amplify badges. But another strategy that works in 3 trainees. I was kind of surprised by the damage output of these two. Well, we even got a combo. You see, very high numbers now. Since uh, Dark is a pretty old character, but with the advent of Forged weapons, character that buffs status before the attack got stronger. So even a character that is one year old or more is doing very good damage. Look, Monica is doing 66,000 against that enemy and 68,000 with Dark. Dark is doing even more and their weapons are comparable. Now for the last strategy I have to say, I still don't have Arthur, I'm gonna get him today. But because of that, I'm using Rick here, but it can also be Arthur or Rupina. And preferring to use Mirage Blade Plus. And then here in the back, I have the last Subir, because he can use double fast attacks. And you have to just change his BP cycle. And just the same, you can bring three trainees. Well, Rick deals around 60 something as well. Pretty strong, just similar to Suvir. Yeah. Rick also buffs STR, he's a pretty good character to use in this type of situation. Well, so that's it guys, this was the last strategy. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this can help you with your farming. Please subscribe if you haven't, if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video. Don't forget to join our Discord server where we talk about Romancing Saga and other games in general. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.